Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Katrin, I'm a medical student currently studying in Australia. Today I'll be sharing my experience and step that I've gone through to enter to Australia during the pandemic season. I've posted some vlogs about the traveling and quarantine experience in my previous video, so if you're interested, make sure to go back to my channel and watch those videos. So as we all know that Australian international border has been closed last um, March 2020, and it just happened to be the year that I have to come to Australia to continue my studies as a medical student. The staff in charge of um, transferring the student from my university to the other overseas university told me that the chances for me to get across the border during the pandemic is really really small. I am not going to get into details on what happened in my university and um, how do I negotiate with them but at the end I decided to try my luck and apply for the travel exemption anyway. I only got the update from the med school early in um, January which I think is kind of rush for me because my class starts early on the January this year and with all the 14 days quarantine and all the time needed to wait for my visa application and biometrics and all the health check kind of stuff I'm really unsure whether I can make it before my semester commencement date I was really stressed out at that moment and I really know that there is no use dressing out for things that you don't have control over. Visa application involved in three steps. The first step is to submit your visa application and second is to do your health checkup and then the final step is to do your biometrics. That is how applying for visa uh, works in generally. So because the biometric center in Malaysia has been closed for quite a long time and it only opened quite recently so that's why the booking, the appointment is all full and this is how I then realised that I might not be able to get my biometrics done on time and another thing is it's better to get your visa approval and get your visa first before trying to apply for travel exemption because I have friends who's trying to um, apply the travel exemption before getting their visa and it got rejected a lot of time so another advice is to um, get your visa first before you apply for travel exemption I was so devastated knowing that my chance to even get my visa done on time is really small until I received a great news from my um, education consultant that I am able to do a walk-in to have my biometric done. So eventually I got my visa early on November and then I proceed to um, apply for the travel exemption. And of course I did went through all the criteria and acceptable reasons for the travel exemption and my circumstances were not considered as one of the acceptable reasons. I was considered as final two years medical student but what they mentioned on their website is that they only allow the final year medical student to travel to Australia. I was well aware of that so I was mentally prepared that um, my travel application might get rejected. But to be honest, the curriculum for both the final year and the final two year student were about the same. All the medical students need to spend most of their final two years being in the hospital they been assigned to to get enough hospital exposure before we graduate and this is why I still want to try for the travel exemption anyway. So the reason why I sound so desperate wanting to travel to Australia is because I had already took a gap year for my research and I really don't want to take another gap year anymore and this will happen if I choose to defer my study to the next intake which will be on 2022. After I submitted my application, I was I was so anxious that I couldn't really sleep well for a week until I got the result back. So obviously I got exempted at the end. I was so happy when I know um, I got exempted. The flight ticket is really limited to Australia at this moment and it also way much expensive than it usually was. I tried calling to Malaysia Airline and all I got is uh, the ticket has already sold out and the limit for people traveling to Australia for this month uh, has already reached its quota, something like that. Then I remember I was just sitting in front of the computer and trying to 
refresh the um, page and see whether I am lucky enough to get a flight ticket and eventually I did get a flight ticket but I don't really get to choose the date I can leave Malaysia and travel to Australia it sounds easy but the process of trying to get a flight ticket right now is really the hardest part for me the date of your flight doesn't have to be exactly the same as the date you declare on the travel exemption application and I've already called them to confirm about that 14 days of quarantine is compulsory in Australia and I'm not sure about the permanent resident and locals but I have to pay for $2,000 as a non-locus. At the end, I managed to arrive in Australia for the commencement of my semester on time but because everything is settled in the last minute I was not really mentally prepared for this but right now I can really say that I'm pretty used to Australia environment and culture Anyway, I'm really grateful that I managed to get into Australia to continue my study as a medical student and graduate on time I know that there's many people out there trying to get across the international border during this period of time especially those international students like me I really understand your feelings and I hope that you find this video helpful Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video